Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a prom slash homecoming inspired makeup look. I know we are heading into graduation season which means a lot of proms, a lot of homecomings, a lot of formals, whatever you call it, that is what we're heading into. We call it formals down here so I'm going to be doing quite a glam look for you guys that I would wear to my prom or my formal or my homecoming, whatever it is. So without further ado, let's jump into this. So as we can see, my skin is not a happy chappy. I have so, so, so many breakouts so I'm going to be doing quite a glam base. I'm going to do quite full coverage because I don't want these things poking through you know so first of all to prime i want to keep my skin quite matte today i have just cleansed it and put on a little bit of moisturizer but i might go in with like a mattifying primer and because it is so aggravated i wanted to use my napoleon Purtis one um to try out like the mattifying properties of it but it's just this so skin's too aggravated so i won't use anything with like that's too harsh so that leaves me with my good old 100 percent pure uh, mattifying primer with vitamins and antioxidants. I just find this one doesn't make me break out and when I was going through that really bad spout of acne a couple years ago uh, it didn't make me break out so I'm trying to use products that don't inflame my skin too much you know. Oh by the way guys Halloween season is coming up which is literally like my favorite makeup part of the year because you can literally go all out go crazy I don't know if I will this year just because October has been such a busy month like it's September October so that's why I haven't posted in the last two weeks really 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 sorry about that um, I'm trying to get as many videos up now as possible so I won't have that issue again but yeah so let me know what you want to see for a Halloween makeup look like, do you want another recreation of, like, that vampire one I did? Do you want something else? Do you want me to do the Joker? Do you want me to do... I don't really want to do it. I feel like that's been done a million one times. Um, do you want, like, a glam or gory look? Like, let me know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see, and I can do that for you. Maybe I could even use those synthetic scars, too. Like, those SFX makeup things. Ooh, that would be interesting. Anyway, let me know. Next is colour correcting, guys. And unless you're just going with my finger, definitely don't recommend though doing that because you're just spreading the bacteria. But I mean, for me, I'm just very lazy. So I'm just covering like the basis basically of all those really red, irritated scars or breakouts at the moment. You can go ham and like full cover everything, but for me, I'm just doing the necessary ones. This is probably actually a little bit too green. You don't want it to be too pigmented that it will show through your foundation. Once we have our green face, we're going to go with foundation. And I kind of want a little bit of like a dewy effect with my foundation. Even though I am a combination oily skin girl, I'm still going to go in with these little drops from Goody Co. I like these because you can mix them with your foundation to create kind of like a dewy foundation. Even though I'm going in with a matte foundation. It just, I just want that kind of like healthy skin glow and because I am using a matte foundation it'll still keep me matte. In my head that's my logic anyway. So I'm going to take my Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation in the shade uh, Creamy Beige. See how it's a little bit too light? I might even actually mix it with a different foundation just because I am, I got burnt. <laughs> I got burnt on Monday so my skin is very tan at the moment so usually I can get away with this uh, this foundation but not when my skin's this tan and just chucking on some of those drops trying to do like that Instagram effect yeah I might even just drop it on the back of my hand and then just put it on my skin I'm actually going to take some of that um, what's this one called the Milani 2-in-1 foundation in the shade medium beige which is my shade and mix a couple of those drops in it as well because it was just not working just popping it on my face <laughs> and then just mix that together and then I'll just apply that over some of the areas and then I'm just taking my beauty sponge and just blending all of this in just patting it in because if you swipe it you're going to move that color corrector so if we can see I'm going in with my first my age rewind um, on my breakouts, like my instant age rewind concealer in the shade medium moyen, which is basically just medium beige, so it's the same colour as my skin tone, 
and I'm applying that all over those breakouts. Like yeah, the texture's there, so I have the raised breakouts, but at least it's giving them a little bit more coverage so in photos and stuff you won't be able to see them. And then I'm going to take my creamy beige concealer and I'm just going to highlight under the eyes and conceal. And then just taking that beauty sponge I'm just going to blend out that concealer. And then to set the concealer in place and like all my breakouts and stuff I'm going to go in with my raw pressed powder in the shade Nude. And just pressing that in with a dry beauty sponge. So my brows are on, mate, they are fierce today. So I just carved them out a little bit using my paint pot, which I'm now just going to apply all over my lids to prime them for the eyeshadow that we're about to go in with. And I'm actually just taking this little, this little, actually this big uh, concealer buffer brush. I'm just going to just dip that in and just buff that all over my lid. I do usually use that like a real techniques brush but I've actually been liking this one lately. Okay dokey. So for the eyes, I'm going to keep it quite neutral today so it's gonna be able you guys will be able to wear this with like any dress, any accessories. You can just kind of tweak it if you want to add a bit of colour or not. It depends, it's up to you. But I thought I would just kind of keep it pretty neutral so it's just a wearable look that you could even take out on like clubbing uh, date night like whatever it, the event may be you can wear this look so initially I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette just for the transition colors I think I don't really think I'll use too many of these shadows today so we're going to take silk cream and made for each other just my usual transitions and I'm just applying them through the outer crease so I'm keeping this as like a cat eye, smoky eye today. I feel like that's the most flattering on most people. And you just want to hold the bottom of your brush and just use little circular motions. I'm using quite a fluffy brush. This is the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And I'm just using little circular motions on the outer corner of my eye and just little windscreen wiper motions in the outer crease keeping quite a soft hand. I'm next going to take the shades Butter and Puta <laughs> and on a soft definer brush from Zoeva I'm going to pack them on the outer corner of my eye just to build up that pigment and then I'm just blending it through the outer crease area as well. I like to stretch up my eyebrows so that I get some of that pigment on the actual like just under the brow bone area so it's not all just slotted here. This is actually going to be a really easy eye look. We're not going to carve out the crease or anything. So it's actually something you guys could all achieve. I didn't want to do something too crazy hard. Because I know most of you just want something easy that you can replicate for your formal. So the other eyeshadow palette I'm going to take today is the Aspen Ovard palette. I'm basically just using this kind of colour range. So I don't think this palette um, is on the market anymore unfortunately. But there's so many different eyeshadow palettes with similar shadows that you guys can definitely replicate this look. Plus the Jaclyn Hill one is similar shades too. I just need something like a little bit with a lighter brown range here. What I'm going to take is Road Trip and Tea Time. So there's two brown shades on a petite crease brush. I'm just going to pack that on my outer corner. And just slowly building up that colour. Just on that outer V of the eye. So this area here. And then taking some of Santorini Sands in High School Sweetheart. I'm just going to buff out the edges of those brown shades. Next we're going to take this Eye Coal from Makeup Geek. I don't think they actually continue this Eye Coal uh, online. Not that I can see it anyways. But you can use any brown Eye Coal you would like. Just like that. So they're just about halfway across. And we're just going to smudge that out. So just grabbing again some of Road Trip and Tea Time on a pencil brush. I'm just going to buff out that eye coal. And just taking like just Road Trip to just darken that up. And I'm actually going to take some of Mocha and Central 
park and I'm just going to run that right over top of that eye coal right on the outer portion of the eye and through the outer kind of crease area here so for the actual lid shade I'm going to go in with Endless Summer from the Tarte palette and I'm initially just taking it on my finger and just placing that over the inner third of the lid so not bringing it all the way across I'm just tapering it into those browns I'm just going over that eye coal again with some of Mocha and Central Park from the Jaclyn Hill palette so I'm just going to curl my lashes before I apply falsies, like mascara and falsies. And I think I'll take my um, House of Lashes, what are these called, Temptress Wispies. I mean you guys could literally go in with no lashes at all, like go in and rock your natural lash if you'd prefer. I mean I do that most of the time anyway, but I guess for prom and for formal you want to go a little bit more glam but like it's up to you there's no right or wrong way and that is how lashes are looking I actually quite like them how they've turned out and they don't cover up too much of the shadow you know so to finish off the eyes, I'm keeping it pretty simple and just adding a nude eye curl to my waterline to just kind of open the eyes up. I don't want anything too smoky or harsh for this prom look. Then just grabbing some of Mocha and Central Park on a precise shader from Zoeva and just wiggling that closely to the bottom lash line. And then grabbing some of those two browns from the Aspen Ovide palette on a pencil brush. Just buffing out that brown, connecting it again up to that outer corner. I don't want to bring it down too much either. I want it to be quite light and smoky, not too heavy under the lash line. And then just on a clean little smudge brush, I'm just going to soften any harsh edges. For my inner corner, I'm going to take Brilliance from the palette. And just drag it down a little bit under that bottom lash line area to really open up the eyes. And I'm also just popping that on the high point of the brow bone too. Oof, I'm loving the eyeballs, I'm loving them. So for bronzer, I'm just taking my usual two favourite colours from the NYX Contour and Highlight Kit. I'm just doing a quick bronzer, nothing too crazy. Around that breakout I'm being quite careful not to just rub it away. All that coverage and everything so I'm kind of just stamping it on and just hitting the forehead as well if you have quite a big forehead I do recommend contouring it if you find it an issue otherwise I just do a light bronze I think I even did an in-depth contour and highlight video if you would like to check it out <laughs> I'll leave it linked down below I am going to do a slight whoop, oh my god I'm dropping everything today I am going to do a slight little contour today as well because it is a glam kind of prom look so you do want to go all out. So using a little contour brush I'm just going to stamp, stamp that powder on toward the corner of my mouth. You don't need to go too heavy with this step because otherwise it can look like a beard just with that stark line sitting there and then I'll just blend up that contour upward toward my cheekbone if you blend down you're going to lose that contour Oof. I love a good contour, I haven't really contoured much lately and I've just recently gotten back into it and I am loving it so much so for blush today I'm actually going to use the blush in the palette and just applying that to the contours of the cheeks just in between that bronzer and contour shade. Next I'm going to grab a little fan brush. Oh, my little, it's not really that little. And I'm actually going to take Pure Soul from the palette and apply that just to the high points. Skipping over that pimple, I don't want to highlight that at all. 
and then just hit the tip of the nose oh girl I love that I love a good nose highlight and I also hit the cupids though I just think it makes your lips look so much fuller and a final spritz to the face so for lips I'm going to do a glossy lip today I'm going to first line my lips with that eye coal it's my favorite thing guys I swear I just love the color that brown is just so creamy it's just like mm, mm. so I'm just gonna line with that makeup geek eye coal in the shade espresso and just kind of ombre it a bit and then I'm taking my favorite lip combo at the moment so I'm actually thinking I have used nude the last couple times or no pink the last couple times I'm actually going to try a nude from Napoleon Purse, the lip gloss. I think a pink would look pretty with this look. Or pink. I think a nude would look pretty with this look. I think a pink would as well. I get confused because of the colours. Like, the nude is actually a pink and then the pink is actually a nude. So I get confused. Oh, these smell so good. Don't mind the helicopter, by the way. Um, this is just the lip, liquid lip from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Commando. And I'm just blending that into the eye call or that lip liner. So this is with the matte, but like I said, I want to take it to the next level with the gloss. So I'm going to try out this nude gloss. This one is from Napoleon Purse, like I said. So it looks pink, but I assume it's supposed to come out nude. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so tropically, like, fruity. Ah, oh, it's so nice. It actually, like, hasn't really got much of a colour to it, which I actually really like, because I really like this lip combo anyway. Oh, and it just makes your lips look so full. That's why I love these lip glosses so much. Oof, girl, that is a succulent lip. Mm-mm-mm. I am obsessed with these lip glosses at the moment so much. Okay, guys, this concludes today's prom slash formal slash homecoming makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed how like this look. And if you have any requests for upcoming videos, like the Halloween one, any other prom looks you'd like me to recreate, just any other looks in general that you'd like me to do for you or try out, or any products you'd like me to try out, let me know in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. It lets me know what you guys actually enjoy watching. Otherwise, have an amazing time at your formal or prom, and I'll see you guys very, very much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day, guys. Mwah. Bye.